Hey folks, my name is Jürgen, aka Nerd and Proud of It, and Destiny has brought you to my channel today to talk about Flesh and Blood. A little bit of a strange setup here, we're gonna switch to a screen recording in a second. Uh, don't be alarmed by the uprising box, I placed it above an email I forgot to minimize. Got my microphone here, got my outside view here as well, my work setup in the back, my normal laptop for editing in the front. Uh, yeah, I don't want to miss a delivery guy. That's that's why I got my outside view. <laughs> uh, don't want to miss those Magic the Gathering cards coming in. Folks, we're going to switch to a screen recording. Windows G, very easy if you don't know the trick. And then you can hit screen record and it just saves it to your laptop. So we're going to do that. Uh, and this is a video I have been looking at. Uh, I've been talking about is flesh and blood dead after the reveal of the print run of Monarch. Got a lot of negative feedback on the video and I just rewatched it today it still holds uh, in my opinion but that made me want to talk about the game here a uh, games island i often buy there just have a look at the prices pretty low prices for tales of aria of course um pretty low prices for monarch unlimited both of them unlimited by the way rest is not even in stock anymore because they don't mm, seem to keep on carrying the game i don't know um uh, very strange a site that has all releases since the beginning for me was sapphire cards uh, i ordered there once i think and uh, was okay this one the classic battles deck i promised i would buy it when it's 35 bucks because i think 50 bucks which it was in the beginning is too high and then it was like uh, 45 bucks now it's 40 bucks yeah it's just two decks you can normally get for 10 bucks and there's a cold foil in there yeah so so what i don't know the price point is way too high for this one uh the rest um they got all the product and uh prices are pretty interesting in my opinion uh it's like uh, 85 for the history stuff english german ones are a little more expensive first edition yeah 90 bucks uh for everfest first edition and then the unlimited stuff is pretty cheap, of course. Tales of Aria is about uh, 60, 67 99 and 120 still for the first edition Tales of Aria. That's what I paid. Uh, no, I think I paid 100 I don't know. I think I paid 100 but still 120 is quite a high price point. And please consider that there's a small LGS that can't afford to lose a lot of money on those boxes. So the prices are pretty high. Looking at card market, which is much more representative, folks. Yeah, Uprising booster box. It holds strong. Yeah, 64 bucks, 233 booster boxes. Uh, welcome to Wraith, 70, uh, 57. Everfest first edition, 6250. More than 440 boxes, 444 to be precise. History uh, pack one, yeah, 90 bucks. So for 85, that was actually quite cheap. Crucible Unlimited 67 Monarch Unlimited, the cheapest one because of the high print run. 53 bucks for Monarch, uh, Monarch, uh, sorry, folks, for Monarch Unlimited booster box. And you can go on like this like the first edition Tales of Aria, you can get a case for 280 bucks. That's uh, 70 bucks a box. I mean, and there are like almost 30 cases it's not that it's like the last boxes out there prices of um, of uh, welcome to wraith uh, first edition still 4800 bucks as you saw and interesting is uh, of course um, there are still cases of crucible left for about 2200 but okay Let's switch back to the normal mode, folks. Um, you get what I mean. I've been called a hater, which is not true because I like the game. I got a substantial single collection of the game. I just bought boxes, I just bought decks, and I played, and I liked it. It's not better than Magic the Gathering for me, but I liked it, so I'm not a hater. But honestly, there's nobody playing anymore. Not even my brother is interested anymore, who I played with a lot. Uh, I can't find any players in local LGSs. I don't see any boxes moving. Those those uh, card market boxes have been sitting there for a long time. And then you don't even consider the local stuff, which is like in the Netherlands Marktplatz, which is like a local eBay or eBay uh, in general or Facebook groups. There's just so much supply out there. 
please convince me why why is this game not dead why i i mean i i would love to 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 continue playing and i would love to see a future for this game but they screwed it up they 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 successfully ruined um a game that worked well for them uh, just by being stubborn and listening to um, certain people who shouted the loudest in my opinion again just my opinion don't agree if you don't agree that's fine <laughs> i'm okay with that and you should be too because there are different opinions in the world and no matter what they tell you there always will be and you can't always have everybody with the same opinion uh i would be curious do you think it's that why is it not that in your opinion uh convince me that it's not that uh, why should i keep playing why should i keep try to play because i can't find anybody to play let me know folks very very curious um no hate towards flesh and blood just facts and just curious everybody's like oh this is holding up well this is stable it's not <laughs> sorry but it's not have a great have a great weekend folks i i talk to you next time stay healthy stay frosty bye bye